Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0859, Thursday, February the 22nd, and it is takeover time. We are on my friend Rude Dude's account, and we are going to build him a Nightmare, Nightmare 4 Guild Boss team. Excuse me. Right now he's got a Nightmare 3 team. He hasn't built one for Nightmare 4 yet, uh, so we don't know what he's got. Let's go to Nightmare 4. Let's see what kind of... Oh, that'll be nice. All right, so we got a lot of good champs that we can play with here. The question, uh, Awaken 5 Silas. Do we have a Racha? We do have a Racha. I love it. Okay, so, and we've got an A1 Hex. So the question is, do we go, and we've got Lust, and an A4 Arrogance, an A4 Cetrum. Okay. So the question is, do we go hmm, Infernal Nightmare, Infernal Piercer? Let's, we have options here. We've got Torridor. Oh man, this is tough. Which way to go? Let's start with, why is Vierna on the team? Let's get Elowen off of here. Let's throw Hollow, bigger range for Rage, Regen. Let's do an A5 Silas. Man, I really kind of want to play with Torador though, with the Lust Arrogance combo. So if we have, we would need, in order to do this, those would be our eight champs on the board. So Laurel, we would need to swap. No, we need. So we would take you out, and we would put Laurel and Volca. If we did that, if we're trying to do a rage strat, so at that point we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we can swap. Volca and Laurel. And our DPS, we would have those four. Hmm. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. So let's start with our gear. Dolores A5, we have 11-6 attack. Uh, decent attack. Ideally, we would like it a little bit higher, but what we really want is we want invigoration. So let's see if we have, there we go, hollow. Okay, conveniently, we can take this piece off of hollow. Uh, rage regen for Dolores would be nice, but we, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's take the Rage Regen. Was there any flat attack on that? There's a 60 right there. Is that worth 15% Rage Regen? I don't think so. We'll find out. More Rage Regen. Flat attack and Rage Regen. There we go. Replace. There we go, with flat attack, with flat attack, 285, 327, there we go. Now we've got her in invigoration so that she can get extra attack herself and give extra attack to everyone else. Let's check this set, 19.5 attack bonus. I think we can probably do better than that. Let's check. Holy cow, I like that. There's a 26. Perfect. We got 30 mil gold. So for Dolores, Dolores is one of the best champs in the game because of her inspiration that she gives everyone. And that is strictly based off of her attack. So when you're building her, attack speed doesn't affect her um, all you want is attack, attack, attack. The 
chess piece, we can have both. It's got a little bit of crit rate, we don't care. That one's decent. Seventeen and three eighty two. Okay. Let's see. what we can get. Hey, that's actually decent, and since they all three rolled good, that's got a good chance of the fourth one rolling good. Yep, called it. All right, replace. All right, so instead of 11-6, we got 12-1, so we got more attack, and she's in an invigoration set to give herself more attack and to give someone around her more attack. All right, better Dolores already, keen wisdom, perfect for guild boss. All right. She's most important. Uh, Hollow's next. Hollow, we also want an Invigoration, but we actually don't want her to have high attack because if we go to her Awaken 1, each healing restores 1% Rage of Rage Cap. So you want her to heal more often because the more she heals, the more Rage she's going to boost on everyone. So we actually want her to have hardly any attack at all. We still want her in, in in invigoration we just don't want attack on her even though she is an attack champ attack 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 crit rate defense with attack defense with uh, I could give her that but it's 12 flat attack flat attack flat attack lots of flat attack let's do this one healing effect same thing we don't want healing effect because we don't want her to heal for a lot. Lots of attack, lots of attack. Crit damage with healing effect might do that. HP with attack. Crit damage with attack. Pretty much, there we go. That doesn't have any attack or healing effect. Ooh, I like the Rage Regen. Ideally, we would have Rage Regen um, without attack. Was there an attack speed main invigoration? Nope. It's unfortunate. Everything with attack speed has attack on it. I like the Rage Regen. Rage Regen with attack speed and no attack. Perfect. Replace. Okay, so we already got her attack down 3k. Let's get it down some more. We don't want healing effect because we don't want her healing. Let's take your weapon off and then see if we can get more attack speed here. Attack speed, rage regen. A little bit of healing effect there, but I get rid of the attack bonus and I get attack speed and rage regen. All right, I'll leave those at 12, see how she survives. Attack increases by five, rage regen, okay. Um, the rage regen is nice, the attack speed is not. Since we're gonna be using her instead of hollow, let's use euphoric orb to increase attack speed of everyone. Okay, so there's our supports. Laurel, there's a chance we might let her stay alive through a slam, probably not though. So we'll just quick equip her and go with that. Now, the main damage dealers. Zilla 2. We got an A1 Zilla 2. Okay, 46 and 48. So we want crit rate, attack speed, flat attack. Let's get you built. Do we have any Infernal Roar sets? 
There we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Attack, HP, HP, attack, attack. Here's some flat attacks. Here's one that has some decent subs if they roll good. Ugh, no. Okay. So we can't really do a good Infernal Roar set. Let's, let's do Broken sets. Let's get Attack Bonus. No Infernal Roar. Hex, there we go. Ardea. Crit rate, crit damage, rage regen. What's our attack at right now? Let's do a crit damage main. There we go. Got one on both of them. Defense bonus, that's not what I want. That's all right. Triple sub, triple flat, or triple sub. Attack bonus, crit rate, attack speed. Perfect. So now we've got a very healthy attack. And let's get Annihilating Might for the crit damage. So we've got the right set on. We just want to make sure we've got the right substats. There we go. Now we're crit capped. And attack, attack, bonus, crit rate. There we go. Better stats for all of those. All right, so now we've got 15-8, crit capped, over 300. Let's, might we might be able to do a second crit damage set here. Oh, that's a good one. It would be great if we could work a set in, but it doesn't look like it's probably going to happen. Crit rate, attack speed. Okay, so we can get one with three subs there. It looks like Lust has a full set going. There we go. Let's replace you. Okay, so now we're at 13.6. Crit capped, three, five, nine. There we go. That's a good build for her. Do we have Wailing Skull? That's what we want if we have it. Right there. Oh, man. Ideally, we would want this much, much stronger. But that's okay. We don't have a whole lot of... Oh, he has some to level it up. Rude dude. Promote your Wailing Skull. It is such a strong artifact. Let me see if you have anything to do it. Oh, you do have some. Wait, was I looking at the wrong one? Was I looking at the wrong one? Oh, I just have to unequip them. Okay. There we go. Wailing Skull is so strong, everyone. All right, now let's promote it a little bit. There we go. This is gonna make a big difference. Let's get another one. can't do the third one. I need 750. I don't know. You got anything worth selling? No purple or yellow. What do we have here? 
I don't know if you've got a plan behind what you've got there, so I'm not going to sell anything. But that is a much better build. Okay, we've got Zilla 2 built. Now let's build uh, Lust. Good set there. So we're at 12K, almost crit crap. Crit capped, crick. Uh, three, four, eight. I might just leave this set. Attack speed, attack bonus, crit rate, attack bonus, two, three, four. I might just leave this one with, yeah, I think I'll just leave her for now. Okay. Next is going to be Arrogance. He had a full set, it looks like, but I took that off. Yeah. Is there a. Uh, wonder if I can give him the full set. He's at 89, 6k, crit damage, attack speed. Okay, that's why. What's he at? 12, 8, almost crit capped. Can we get some more crit rate somewhere? And then I'll go back to Zilla 2. It's just barely better. Yeah, we're, we're not going to do a piercer team, so let's take that. Okay. Let's see if we can finish off this Soulbound Arcana set. Attack, defense, attack. No. Whoops. Okay. Great damage, attack speed. That has good subs. Mm. It's at 91 crit rate. I might just leave that. 14, 3, 3, 3, 6. I might. Do we have anything good here that would do better? 19.5, No, unfortunately. What if we dropped the attack and went with crit damage? Oh, there's a good crit rate one. There we go, that's a good one. Really good attack bonus. I need a higher crit rate to get him crit capped. Ooh, good subs. Let's start there. Crit rate's at 21. I'm at 21 and a half. 23 and a half. That would get me up to 99. And I would lose a pretty significant amount of attack, though. I don't know why I was going to do that. That's not better than what I've got. Let's leave it here. 97. That's much better. 13, 3, 97, 3, 7, 1. And we're in Soulbound Arcana. Okay. Let's go back to Zilla 2. Start with the ancient piece, see where it takes us. 14k, crit cap 353. What if I took Soulbound Arcana to give her more damage? It drops her down. 2k. 
drops her down. Yeah, we'll keep what we got. There we go. Best in slot for arrogance. I love that it's level 25, but we need this one. Okay. Built, 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 built. Uh, Volca. She's here for two reasons. Well, three reasons, really. The first thing, right, is that for the reduced uh, respawn time for Laurel, so we can boost Rage over and over and over again. But how we're actually going to gear her, how we're going to use her, we're going to put her in Invigoration so that she can uh, boost a DPS person's attack when I place her. Attack bonus with crit rate, there we go. If we can, we want DPS subs on the Invigoration set so that, because I'm also going to be placing her in between Laurel spawns just to get a little bit of extra DPS. So ideally, we want that also. Attack bonus with crit rate. That's a crit damage. Rage regen. Flat attack. Attack bonus. Uh, I'm not going to take that to 16 because it's not the best set, but it, it hits what we're going for. There's a crit damage. No crit damage, no crit damage. We'll just leave her with the high attack. We'll leave her with that. We'll give the AOE damage to her. Build Cetrum. He's mostly built. Okay, so he's in an, an insight set. We're. What do we got here? Annihilating Might. Crit rate sub. We want everyone crit capped if possible. Let's start there. He's at 85. What do we have over here? Attack bonus, attack bonus, crit damage. Insight. And that 85 is with. Oh, Cetrum doesn't need to be crit capped. I forgot. Here we go. When the hero attacks one target multiple times, increases crit rate by 1%. This effect can stack up to 22%. Cetrum doesn't need to be crit capped. So we'll leave him there. 16k attack, 282 crit damage. I think I would like to replace one of these attack bonuses with crit damage. But this is a good starting point. I don't have a ton of great DPS gear. All right. Built, 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 built. Torador's there. Whoops. He's just built like a tank. Artifact, Twin Fiend. Okay, we want Twin Fiend regenerating his rage so that he can ult more often. So we want a Nightmare Samsara. Can't bring that up higher. Gear, extra damage for someone in range. Let's bring you up and get you crit capped, get some crit damage. All right, let's see what we got. There we go, that's a, that's a good piece.
Let's see if I can get one with a good one with crit rate and crit damage. Not on the weapon. There we go. Mm, comet. There we go. We'll take Vac Valk. And then we would want crit damage, attack bonus. Those are our main DPS. That would be a good one. This would be funny just for a little extra attack. Nope. Okay. This is a, a useful piece regardless of this build. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, it's still good. And then we want crit rate. The attack's at 11 1. Let's get a little bit more attack in there. There we go. 14 3, crit cap 2 8 3. That's better. Okay. Torador. How am I going to place him? How many how many invigoration sets do I have? Do I have Laurel in an invigoration? So I've got one, two, three. That's it. Laurel. Let's put you in invigoration so I can give more attack. Just whatever we have lying around. effect. We'll just take it to 12, save some. There we go. That's actually a good piece. Oh, it was, it was an ancient. Obviously, Jake. There we go. Okay. Is she... There we go. Artifact. If we have something to build her with rage also, right? Like another Nightmare Samsara, we would use that, but that doesn't matter. Not a big deal. Just put something on her to get some, some extra health. Something that's not being used. Got a ton of this. There we go. Just an extra 2,000 health right there. And now she's in Invigoration so that I can use her to give 10% attack to one of the DPS. So I've got one, two, three, four folks in Invigoration. One, two, three, four. If I can get Torador in Invigoration also. Then I can get, then I can get that Invigoration boost on everyone. I'll try to build him with, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll try to build him with a little bit of DPS. Whoops, wrong one. Just in case when I'm swapping folks around. It's not bad. Suboptimal build for sure, but he's not going to be a primary DPS champ. I'm using him primarily to give the invigoration bonus. There we go. Huh. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, obviously. Hollow. Okay. 
and this will be the last one, and then we can actually go set up the team. I'll actually leave that on hers. This isn't too... His build isn't too important. I'm not using him other than for his... All right, so pretty sure we got everyone built. Let's do this. Let's figure out the placement now. Let's figure out the placement. Load, come on. Hey, if you're still here watching, if you appreciated that re-gearing, Support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Why is this taking so long? There we go. All right. So I want, I'm this time I'm just figuring out the placement and then I'll actually get it done quickly. So I want, I want to get all of my nightmare units on the board and I want them all to get Invigoration. So Zilla 2 is going to go here. That way she'll benefit from... I'm, I'm going to put Laurel here. Let's put Torador down to give... He's two tiles away, so he can give... Invigoration, that attack bonus to her. And then I'll put Lust there in the middle. I'll give Invigoration with Volca facing her. There we go, Wailing Skull is gone. Let's put you down. And then Dolores would give Invigoration there. go and then I would pull everyone I would pull everyone there and then everyone would have it at that point okay let's see if we can figure this out a little bit faster a little bit faster all right so Zilla 2 first. You. Let's get that in your place. Lust. We got all of our nightmare units on the board now. So I can pull them. Oh, that's not where I wanted him to go. All right, Zilla two. Torador gives invigoration. all around oh I started Twin Fiends ult early so I couldn't get Setrum started okay it's just a timing thing get another ult there <clears throat> now I'm cycling through between giving putting Laurel here for extra rage for everyone and putting you know Volca or Torador down uh, I built Volca with a little bit more DPS than Torador but Torador gives that defense reduction I probably should have put a little bit more time and effort into his build 
That's okay. We're cycling ults as we get to them. There we go. Let's get some defense reduction from Torador. Now I might need to time my ults to hit when a shield is going to hit, probably the third shield. We'll see. Got another one coming up. Uh, we got Laurel. How close are all of them? 80%. Nah. Let's go. Okay, we're at 14K. Okay, so we'll definitely get the 20K chest. It's just a matter of how high we get. We're at 220, so yeah, we'll start saving ult after this last couple right here. Now, for the last for the last shield, last shield pops at 130, and that's what we're gonna save our our ults for now. Uh, you have time for another one. You get your ult back really fast. Everyone else, I'm gonna wait though. I think I lied. That's a lot of time there. Let's just go. Let's just see how it pans out. We can min-max later. Yeah. Because I've got 20 seconds on Laurel and we're at 25 already. Oh, I didn't get him in time. Oh, and I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't get Torador in Dolores inspiration range. Am I going to get it down? There we go, just barely. Okay, so I can definitely make this run better. Already at 30k. Come on. Oh, I didn't get that started. All right, so we're at 33. We're going to finish this out. I'm going to do one more run with a little bit better timing. I'll time the ults on that last shield, and I will place Twin Fiend where he's actually in Dolores range. and we'll see what we get. I think we can get over 40, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, 37.5. Yeah, we can get that over 40. That was that was a nice first run though. That was a very nice first run. Let's see what damage we're looking at. Okay. 37.5. Zilla 2. There we go. Pretty good. Twin Fiend's not here to be like a primary DPS fighter, but if he's there and I can get more DPS out of him by placing in Dolores range, then then why wouldn't I? All right. Last one. Let's do this. I'm pretty excited for this final. All right, let's get Zilla 2 on the board. Torador. Volca, I can't place. I couldn't place Arrogance there because of the Wailing Skull proc. Let's get that down better. Zilla 2, Torador. It already proc'd. Let's get Lust on the board. If you, and then see how long this takes. He didn't get his because I had to play with those at the last second. Okay. Let's figure this out. Zilla 2. Torador. Let's throw... <laughs> it already procced. I'm going to mess with that seed. I want Zilla 2. Okay, so now they should all have inspiration, or invigoration, excuse me. There we go. Okay. Now we're moving in the right direction. Now we got everyone up. We got everyone with invigoration. We want, now we just want to time the ults for the shields. Okay. I'm actually going to wait to pull Laurel because Dolores, the person that's most important here, Dolores is at 93%. So I'm going to let her go and then I'll pull, place everyone down, get Torador for defense reduction, speed it up. Time for a shield. I'm going to wait because he's at 90%. There we go. 
and now we should have a shield pop right at the end of this Twin Fiend ult for Cetrum to take down. There it is. Laurel on the board. We're at 215. We have time for another one. Defense reduction. All right, so everyone's got ults. But I'm going to hold on to them. Yeah, I've got 12. Let's Twin Fiend ult. Oh, I mistimed that. That's all right. She'll go. go. There we go. Alright, that shield went down way better than the first time. But but my my ult timing on the second shield was worse, so my total is less than it was last time. Because I mistimed the second shield. Yeah, let's not see this through to completion. All right, one more time. If I get both shields correct this time, then uh, then I'll call it. If not, I'll call it, because it's just taking time. Because what we want to do is we want to get, oh, of course. We want uh, all of our ults to be going off when the shield happens so that we can break it down quick and so that we can do more damage because the dragon takes more damage after you break the shield. Come on. They're all down. I pull you, I pull you get everyone down a little bit quicker now that I understand the run a little better. There we go. Let's get our early ults so that I can get that 50% rage for everyone. down so I don't miss stuff. First shield, no ults are up. Nothing. <laughs> That's all right. They will be in just a sec. I'm going to keep Torador for the second shield. So second shield procs at 250. Oh, I might have done those a little too early. 
We'll see. I should be good because I've got a Laurel proc coming up here. Let's wait for Dolores so I don't waste hers. As long as you wait and until after you start the ult, you still get the rage boost from Dolores. Now, do I go here and waste Cetrum's 90? That's the question. Let's use it. Everyone's here. There we go. And now we'll have defense reduction. There we go. 20k after the second shield. That's much better. Much better than last time. Much, much better. Timing your ults to go after the shield breaks, pretty big. Makes a big difference. So everyone has their ult ready now, but I'm 20 seconds away from using it. because so I wanna wait for this third shield. At about 135. Oh man, Cetrum's not going to be ready to go. That's frustrating. That's close though. Ugh. Ideally, Cetrum would have been ready so that he could do that animation while Twin Fiend is calling down his meteors so that he would just start barraging the shield as soon as Twin Fiend's ult was done. Let's get some defense reduction on the board. There we go, 33K. Oh, was he already, was he still recovering? Oh man, he was. That's all right. We're at 45, or 35, excuse me. Oh, 45 seconds, that's what I was saying. Oh, Dolores died. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh man. That's all right. 37 and a half is what we did last time. This one would have been a little bit higher, but <clears throat> mistimed it just a little bit. Awesome. Well, that was the run. A lot of re-gearing. Big jump on Nightmare 4. Let's actually use his key for him. We'll talk a little bit about what we went over for his first Nightmare 4 key. Let's see if it keeps. So... <clears throat> Uh, for for your guild boss, right? You want a team that synergizes really well together and you want to make sure you're building your team specifically for guild boss. Guild boss doesn't have high defense, so you can get away with a little bit lower attack than you can in other areas, but you still want you know 12k plus for attack. Get all of your supports in invigoration sets so that you can give uh, that attack bonus to all of your DPS. Make sure Dolores ults she wasn't right there she probably procced the, her uh her awakening but uh make sure dolores is in invigoration and has attack as high as possible right you should be seeing her up around 12k if you have a a decent invigoration set okay so get all of your supports in invigoration even your um pseudo dps supports right so like for this 
that is Volca and Torador. They're putting out a little bit of DPS in between Laurel spawns, but their primary purpose that they're there for is that uh, they're giving that invigoration to what happened here. Well, it still went over 20k. Uh, so we got the chest that we were supposed to get. Rude dude. Um, if you're doing your auto battles, actually watch it. Make sure that nothing, uh, there isn't an RNG factor there that makes it fail. But you got your 20k. You weren't going to get 50k anyways. But now you can do a 1 key 20k Nightmare 4 and a 1 key uh, 18k Nightmare 3. Let's actually set that up for you because, whoops, you don't have, what do you have set up right now? What do you have set up? Because you had a very similar team. Oh, no, you didn't. What is that? Yeah, no. Let's set up both of these for you. Let's set up, let's set this one up. That way you can just have three and four done and you don't have to worry about it every day. But as you saw, uh, Nightmare 4 failed there. It was over 20K, so it didn't really matter. But uh, when you're doing your auto battles, actually watch it so that you can close out of it if you need to or you know reset the seed to try it again. All right, so Zilla 2, Torador, Arrogance, Lust was going to go there. Zilla 2, Arrogance, Torador, Lust, Volca, Dolores. Now they all have Invigoration. We pull our supports. We get our other DPS on the board. We get him invigoration, we get Twin Fiend, we get more invigoration. Let's pop our 90% and then pull Laurel to do everyone else. There we go. Ideally, you want to try and start Cetrum and Twin Fiend at the same time so that Cetrum's animation happens while Twin Fiend is doing his animation and you just save some time there. I'm going to do two times speed since this one should be much, much easier to hit 18k without... I'll hop back and forth. There we go. Once Volca's up, I swap again. Or once Laurel is up, I'll swap Volca out. So I, I hope this was helpful, right? I hope you learned some stuff. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, if there was something that you would have liked me to cover that I didn't. And I'll take care of you. All right, so now we've got the second shield coming up and everyone is using their ults. Not everyone, but many, including Cetrum, really barrage that down. Laurel's up. go. Uh, I should have kept you. That's all right. Yeah, I'm already over the, the top chest, so 
don't need to min-max this one near as much. And there were still some optimi optimizations that I could have made to Nightmare, Nightmare 4, right? I could fiddle with the gear a little bit more. Um, could play with the timings of the ults, right? That's a big one. And uh, actually make it so that it's 100% uh, effective instead of uh, potentially failing like it did, right? You don't you don't want a possible fail, but since it's not since it's not over 50k realistically, that's a a small concern until until his account progresses to get to that 50k, right? If it's failing over 20k, then then you're still getting the same result than if it went to 40k. It doesn't really matter. There we go. All right. And this will be it. We got 30 seconds left. Speed it up. Just finish it out. Eh, a few seconds. There we go. All right, Nightmare 3, Nightmare 4. We got uh, top chest on Nightmare 3. Almost 40K on Nightmare 4. Still could do some tweaking, but uh, this has been a very long video. If you stuck around and watched the whole thing, man, I appreciate you and your patience. Uh, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.